Hi, I'm Alan. In this is a video. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to more Geometry Dash. Today, we are not not starting. I have been playing this for like a week. So, I have been working on the 12 Demons of Christmas for this year. Yes, I'm doing 12 Demons of Christmas. I know, crazy. EVW and I are doing a little bit of a thing together. But anyway, I've been working on the 12 Demons of Christmas. And off stream, while I've been doing that, while I've needed to take a little bit of a break from practicing those levels and working on them, I picked up this one level that I saw got raided. And I was like, yeah, this is a funny level. It reminds me of Sierra Never Clear. But it's like, easier. Today is the announcement video for me checking out this new spectacular funny haha -ha level that is honestly really good. <laughs> uh, my friends were kind of like, hey y'all, why do you like this? And I was like, I don't know, it's a cool level. That's pretty much all I have to say. So we are starting off Sersha difficult by Sersha themselves. And the thing about this level is that it is one of those old school 1.9 style levels and it's trying to purposefully be kind of bad, but knowing myself, it's going to be a level that that I really like. This level is really cool. Uh, I think 40 to 100 is absolutely fantastic. It's a really, really good part. Other than that, the first 10% of this level is ridiculous. It's borderline impossible. 95% of my attempts is just gonna go into dying to the first 10% of the level. And then as you get past 13, I think, it relaxes a little bit until 26%. And then 26 to like 40 is goddamn impossible. And then it's just all around clean difficulty all the way through. This level, from what I've heard, is not placed on the demons list yet, but it will be placed on the demons list eventually. From what I've heard, the general consensus that is around Yada Grouse difficulty. So this is a hard level. Like, this is genuinely really difficult. I have played it a lot, but I don't really have a clear indicator of what I think the difficulty is going to be, simply because I've played it in, like, sections. I haven't actually, like, properly tried to grind this out, so I don't really know the difficulty, because normally I would spend around a week-ish getting and beating a level around this difficulty, but I've spent naturally a lot longer on this because of the fact that I've not actually tried to grind it, so I don't really know how hard I think it is. I feel like it might be harder than something like Necromancer and Requiem, but I don't actually know. I know that it, I feel like it's harder than Yada Garasu at least, but again, I don't really know. I no clue. But we're gonna try it out. We're gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna tell you guys through it in practice mode. We're gonna try it, and then that's pretty much it. Yeah. And of course, before we start the video, hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. We're closing in on the big milestone. You guys are awesome. If you want to support me and you want to watch more of my videos because I upload very frequently, you guys should subscribe. It's completely free. Hit that bell notification if you don't want to miss an upload because you guys know how YouTube is with their recommendations. But this level's sick. I'm really hyped for it. I'm actually super excited for this level and I'm very excited to grind it out because this level is so cool. Anyway, so the very beginning here, right? This beginning is ridiculous. I'm just gonna put that out there right now. This beginning is absolutely insane. And the fact that I'm making it look this easy is not doing it justice. Because, oh my god, it's so hard. It, it, this beginning, I, I naturally, you guys are gonna meme it. It happens every time I'm like, oh, this part is so hard. And then I pass it first, then you guys are like, haha, Aeon said it's hard, and then you hit it immediately. Lamau. Uh, this part is just really tight, a lot of really hard timings. You do get into a rhythm for it, so it's not like the worst possible thing ever. And once you do get consistent with the start, you will be getting like decently far a lot of the time. And then you get to the ship part, right? This ship part is really cool. I kind of like it. You kind of like tap your way over there. You got to avoid this uh, yellow portal like so. Go up, click that. One, two, one, two. And then you just kind of like swerve your way through. This level is incredibly ship heavy, by the way. Like when I say this level is ship heavy, I mean this level is very ship heavy. There is not a single wave part in this, except for one. I'm going to point that out when we get there. But this level tests your ship control almost to the very limit i would say as like a high end extreme demon this is like one of the toughest levels you can do to really challenge your ship skills i made that look very easy going over that saw layer right there like 25 percent, you die there so much i've died to that like 20 times from zero i'm gonna try and showcase what i mean by it or maybe just over the weekend where i haven't played i just suddenly got really good at it i suddenly just got really good at it okay uh but basically you have to like swerve like slightly over here. It's super easy to go a little bit too high or a little bit too low. So going over that saw blade is ridiculously hard. And it's just, I don't know, it's just difficult, I suppose. What, what, what else is there to say? It's just hard. These are extended triple spikes. I don't know if you can tell, but there is like a slight, like two, uh, there's a few people, pixels of gap between these. So these triple spikes are very, very tight. So the fact that I'm just passing them willy nilly and just not having a trouble with them whatsoever is kind of a miracle not gonna lie but this part is like the next impossible part these orbs are 
absolutely insane. I do not know how I do them as frequently as I do. I am somewhat consistent with them, but my God, they are something else. But yeah, this part right here, like af after that shit part, th the shit part is not too bad. And then we get into this part, which is like the next huge choke point, this little cube right here and the shit part right afterwards. And it's like, this part is fine. It's not like the worst thing. It's just very easy to choke up. Because stuff like that. There are no J blocks here because this is made completely in 1.9. This was actually made on the 1.9 private server and then transferred over to the actual game. So there are no J blocks in this, which would have made the level much easier. The lack of J blocks and just a couple of micro clicks with the orbs gives it a rough challenge that you wouldn't really expect from a modern level or not modern level, but a modern made level. But because it follows 1.9 to a T, you just kind of have to. This shit part is... Woo, boy. There's nothing else like I can say. That shit part is just hard. Okay, so the way that I do this shit part is that I just go one, two, three, four, go up, and then just align myself there. It's somewhat consistent, but getting good at this shit part has taken me so long. I spent a really long time and hundreds of attempts trying to get good at that shit part. Uh, this UFO is pretty easy. You just kind of like have to learn. Hit this late. Those spikes right here, they are fakes. So you can very easily just go too early because you don't realize that they're fakes. So you just kind of like one, two, go between those and then do that. These double spikes are insanely tight. I've died to them twice. They are not, not frame perfect, but they are very close to being it. Not gonna lie. These jumps are ridiculous. You have to jump like as late as you possibly can. As you can see here, I'm jumping like right next to the spike and I'm still dying. And then these are regular triple spikes. And now we get into what I consider the like, you are getting far. This is the wave part. This wave part is insane. I don't really know what to say. Like as you see here, just moving around in this wave part is just insane. But this wave part is possible. Doing this mini wave right here gives you a run for your money. It's really difficult. Anyway, <laughs> enough banter. Uh, this ship part is really fun. I think this ship part is absolutely amazing. I, I really, really like it. It was the part that made me like, want to play this and grind this out i just played the ship art a lot and i thought it was really fun so i was like yeah i'll just try to learn the full level and then i enjoyed the level so this sh this ship part right here is the reason why i decided to go for this i am not doing this very well am i but this ship part is really hard there's like a lot of very tight movements in the ship so this is just a part that you kind of like have to grind out really but it's a very enjoyable part to grind out that's one of the things i really like about it it's just how good are you with ship? That's all it tests. Then we get to the ball part. This ball part is impossible. That's all I have to say. This part is just... You get good at this ball part, but actually learning this ball in UFO took me so long. I found it ridiculously hard. I struggled a ton getting this ball in UFO down. Like this might be top three hardest parts of the level right here, in my opinion. I found this ball part to be insanely hard to learn and just get consistent with. It's a very straightforward part, I'm not gonna lie. Like it's very easy to like see what you're supposed to do. It's just that each individual click is just so insanely tight. Yeah, as you can see, I'm just having a hard time. Like I'm not even talking right now, I'm just trying to do this ball in UFO and I just straight up cannot do it because it's just that hard. So it's very easy to just mess up. Like as you can see here, these orbs right here, this blue and yellow orb, just nasty, just nasty. They're not bad by any means. I think the clicks themselves are really good and really satisfying to pull off. They're just very hard. And then this UFO right here, night 68%. Thank God it's not season nine. This is one of the hardest UFO sequences I've tried in any level. No mercy, literally zero mercy for this UFO part. It will whoop your ass if it wants to. You have like three frames to hit that and then you have to like go through this and then 70% that click I just died to there. You have to be so wildly late. Like you have to click this click right here perfectly. A little bit late, you hit hit it there that I just did, and hit it slightly too early, and you hit the top spike. Everything about this UFO is just a giant middle finger. It puts the difficult in the difficult in the name. That made no sense, but I'm just gonna roll with it. And then we get to this memory part. This memory part is not that hard. Like once you get around here is when you're like, okay, now I can go, now I can beat the level. Like there are a lot of things that can kill you. Like you have to hit this yellow orb and you have to hit it like super duper ultra mega late. So there are definitely things that can still kill you once you get here. But this is like at the point where you should have gotten enough practice with the level to where you can just like 
run it to the end. And dying multiple times into this part would be a massive shame. Uh, not gonna lie. How am I not hitting that yellow right? Hello? Okay, I guess I'm just not good enough at this. There we go. This ship part is awesome. I love this ship part. This ship part is like one of my favorite ship parts in like any level I've tried. This ship part is so fun. And th there's just something about this ending that I really enjoy. Same with this ball part. This ball part is super good. It's hard. This ball part is really tight, but it's a very enjoyable part. And then you get here, and then this is like the stupidest ending of all time. You have three jumps of extended triple spikes. Two of them you cannot see. So yeah, the, the ending is kind of just there. It kind of wants you to kick your ass, and God. This level is super fun though. I really am excited to beat this level. I think it's a genuinely fantastic level, and I think it's gonna be a very good time overall. It's gonna be hard, um, but I will try to do it the best I can. If you want to watch me do this live, I'm probably gonna be pre be playing this for a little while every single day all over on Twitch. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash A on Air if you guys wanna go check that out. Um, by the time this video is uploaded, I should have been live for a couple hours already. So if you're watching this as it comes out, go for it. Anyway, I'm excited for this. I think it's gonna be fun. Uh, it's a level that is not on the list yet, as I mentioned, but it will be soon. It's gonna be another fun little list level for me to beat. I think it's gonna be exciting. Anyway, yeah, I'm hyped for it. I'm super excited to get into Sersha Difficult. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. All that jazz is another jewel by now. Wish me good luck on this. I think I'll need it because this is gonna be a level that's gonna kick my ass. The reason I haven't been doing a lot of extremes lately after Requiem is because I have been focusing on uh, 12 Demons of Christmas. I do really want to finish that off because for those of you who do not know, my 12th Demon this year is gonna be ridiculously hard. It's gonna be a top 40. So I need all the time in the world that I can get. So I need to finish off the first 11 <laughs> then I can finally start grinding out the last one. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you for making my day better. Hope yours a little bit better too. Eat your green, stay healthy, stay hydrated, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace out, everyone.